Hi, I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're going to be talking about toddler appendicitis symptoms. The good news is that appendicitis is quite rare in toddlers. While 1 in 15 people in the United States will eventually come down with appendicitis, that usually presents between the ages of 10 and 20. It may present later, but it's not very common in toddlers. The problem is that toddlers have a difficult time usually telling us when and where and how they hurt. So diagnosing appendicitis in a toddler when it does occur can be quite tricky. In older people, we know that appendicitis pain classically presents as a belly pain all over the abdomen and then gradually moves down to the right lower quadrant. It's often accompanied by vomiting, diarrhea, and fever, and the pain tends to become more intense with time. Any child who has intractable vomiting or diarrhea, who seems to be getting dehydrated, or who has those symptoms accompanied by a high fever, needs to be evaluated by their physician. The symptoms are usually indicative of viral or bacterial intestinal tract disease, but you have to think about appendicitis, and when we do our exam, we always do. If a doctor suspects appendicitis, he or she may ask that the child get a CT scan of the abdomen, or he or she may order an ultrasound or ask a surgeon to consult. Appendicitis has to be something that we think about often, even if we only diagnose it occasionally, because it can be a deadly disease if left untreated. So remember, if your toddler has severe vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain, fever, threat of dehydration, or just unexplained crying that goes on and on and won't stop, you should have a doctor help evaluate that child, and your doctor is going to be thinking about appendicitis among the other choices. Talking about symptoms of appendicitis in toddlers, I'm Dr. David Hill.